Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when controller is not working with the game on a Windows computer. Now the first step is to enable or disable Steam input and then restart the games. Now for this, you can go to your library and then make a right click on the game. So I don't have the game on Steam. I have the game on Xbox app. So I'll show you with different games. So make a right click on the game and then go to properties and then go to the controller tab and then over here select enable steam input and then you can launch the game once again and then check this has worked for many players so it might work for you if that does not work you can even disable steam input and then check check which one is working fine for you still not working the next step is to now this is for playstation controller user you can use ds4 windows and you can use the hid hide option this has worked for many uh, players so it might work for you so if you have ds4 windows installed you can just launch it and then you can configure your controller and you can even use the hid hide option to get it working still not working the next step is to update controller using playstation accessories app or xbox accessories app so if you have xbox controller go to microsoft store and in the search option type in xbox accessories app and then click on Xbox accessories. Now install it. Once installed, you can launch Xbox accessories app. And once you launch it, uh, you have to connect your controller using the USB cable. So connect your controller. Once you connect your controller, you will it will detect your controller and then you will see these three dots click on it. And then over here, if there is any update, you will see update option, update now. So you can update it. And once this is updated, now you can launch the game and then check. Similarly, if you have uh, like PlayStation controller, in that case, you can use PlayStation Accessories app. So type in PlayStation Accessories app in Google and then go to PlayStation website. Go to the official website and then click on download for Windows. And then you can run this exe file. Just install PlayStation Accessories app on your computer. Now, once you install PlayStation Accessories app, you can launch it and then you can connect your controller. And once con controller, uh, it will detect your controller. And over here, you will see the update option. So if there is update option, in my case, it is already up to date. So if you see update, update your controller and then you can check. Now it's still not working. The next step is to launch Steam in big picture mode. So you can go to Steam and at the top right over here, you will see enter big picture mode icon. I can click on it. Now, once the Steam is in big picture mode, then you will see the game over here. Click on the game and then you can launch the game when the Steam is in big picture mode and then you can check. Still not working. Uh, the next step is to disconnect all the external devices from a computer which you're not using. So if you have any kind of USB adapter connected, any kind of uh, extra like uh, devices connected, you can disconnect it. Disconnect extra controller con connected to the computer. Sometimes we have extra controller, the dongle connected, disconnected. Disconnect arcade stick, disconnect multiple monitor, try launching the game on single monitor. If you have any kind of virtual controller, this is important. So if you have VJoy, etc., any kind of virtual controller connected, you can disable it, you can uninstall it, and then you can launch the game and then check. Now, the last step is to use wired connection. So you can connect your controller using the USB cable to the computer, and then you can launch the game and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the controller working with the game. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time, and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.